we're cooking a Aldi Black Angus beef ribeye steak, product of the USA. First time cooking a steak from Aldi. So we're gonna see how the flavor and quality are. Let's do this. First what I did was I went ahead and I pat dry the steak. I'm going to go ahead and season it with salt, fresh ground pepper, and I'm gonna be searing this with a cast iron pan. First, I'm gonna sear the end right here and then I'll hit this side right here. All right, here we go. Okay, that's been about two minutes, so we're gonna go ahead and flip and see how the sear is. All right, not bad. What I'm gonna do is after two minutes, I'm going to flip it again. I'm gonna go ahead and turn down the heat and flip it just so I can try to get a good sear on this part right here. Then I'm gonna throw in the butter. Gonna go ahead and just sear the ends. I think we're about done. Yeah, that's gonna be a nice medium rare, hopefully. All right, we're gonna rest this. Okay, gonna rest this for 10 minutes. Uh, as you can see, it kind of pulled apart, but hopefully it's not overcooked. And we're just gonna try to trim some pieces here, try to see how it is so we can serve it on the plate. And take that piece off there. This piece is coming off already here, so I'm just gonna cut through this here. So that's gonna come off right there. I don't know if that's called the cap or not. You guys can leave a comment and let me know if it is. Got a, it's a nice little nice little crust here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and slice. Basically, let's just go ahead and cut down here and see. Okay, I think we ended up with more of a medium rare. You can see that, uh, definitely cooked it a little bit more than I would like. So I'd say this is on the medium, more of the medium to, yeah, it's more of a medium, I think. Got a little pink juicy, pink center a little bit, as you can see here. Yeah, I'd say it's a good medium-ish. But yeah, let me know if you guys have ever cooked an Aldi steak before. I'm curious to see what results you've had. So I just had a little piece from here from the top. Um, you know, got a nice little medium-ish going. Hmm. Okay. As far as ribeye, it's not as flavorful as some of the other ones that we've had from other places like Trader Joe's. Um, but overall, it's a pretty decent steak. Yeah, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Um, I did two minutes on each shot side and I did one minute extra because it's a little thicker. Might have messed up on that. Uh, from the camera standpoint, it looks like it's a, it could be a medium to medium rare. I'd say it's more of like a medium. Okay, it looks like this part was the top part. I don't know if that's the cap. Looks like it's cut more of like a medium rare. This one's more of like a medium. We started eating the steaks when we discovered that they, they're not as marbled as other steaks. So... While it's a ribeye, we're used to a little bit more marbling, so my initial reaction was like, okay, this flavor is, it's, it's almost there. All right, so that's the, that's the top part of the steak. Well, it has some flavor, it's just missing marbling. I think that's, that's what we're missing. Um, so for the Aldi steaks, good value. I just think it could have a little bit more flavor. So it's a decent steak. I might have cooked it just a little bit over than I normally cook it. Just missing more of that steak. Um, more of that ribeye marbling. There is some fat on the end, so that's enjoyable with it. Let me know if you'd be interested in a series where I test different grocery store steaks. Okay, we got Aldi down. Uh, we'll try a couple different ones like Trader Joe's, maybe Publix, and some other grocery store ones, and maybe we can test it against some local butchers here and uh, butcher shops here in Atlanta. If this is the first time you guys are watching, nice to meet you. 
And make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this. All right, till next time. Bon appetit!